You're a good writer. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I like you writing everything for me. I love writing for you. And I love preparing our rundowns for the Daily Smash, Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. How you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. Yeah? Yeah. You look good. I, I feel good. I'm not on Xanax. We, we talked about this on our Patreon, about how you just found out you can't buy menthol cigarettes in California, but buying weed is no problem. Buying menthol, uh, fentanyl, buying crack cocaine on the streets, easy, <laughs> easy, breezy. As a matter of fact, they supply it for you in San Francisco. I mean, they'll give you a room. They'll give you little huts. Oh, wait, let me turn on my voice recorder. <laughs> voice recorder. I mean, I mean, what the hell is that? I mean, who vote? Who voted that in? Uh, first of all, I yeah. like to have a cigarette here and there. I'm not gonna lie, I do. I Once do. in a while, you smoke. I do, and I like a menthol. Like I don't do it all the time. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know that they 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 put that bill in place. No, because you hadn't tried to buy cigarettes since last year. Yeah. But now you can't buy menthols in California. I, I, I tried to buy one for one of our Patreons, uh, Bravo Lowdown. Because you thought that you that, I, I thought we could buy them here in Orange County. I, but, I was shocked. Because they're well, she's in the San Francisco area. Dude, you can buy weed, but you can't buy menthol cigarettes. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You can go down to Santa Ana, and I can go pick up some crack cocaine, <laughs> no problem. Uh, we're but not I can't buy. That. No, but I'm saying I. <laughs> And not get arrested for it. If you want more on this and other <laughs> topics that we really can't go into too deeply on YouTube, check out our show on Patreon.com, The Rick and Kelly Show. It's unfiltered, uncensored, commercial free, and much longer than this particular show. And we just completed this week's show, and we're still doing, I think there's still a couple days left in a seven-day free trial. We had well over 100 people sign up this week, and we're hoping that you'll join us for our Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon. Yay! We're coming up a lot of comments from you guys, including uh, one about stinky people. Oh, stinky people. Yeah. So I read your comments on YouTube and you guys crack me up. I mean, some of your stories <laughs> yeah. are just like a, like a show in and of itself. It's, it's, they're so good. Like I wanted if you guys ever are on my YouTube, read the comments. Yeah. I do get some um, psychopaths, like the sunshine person that says they get to me. You don't get to me. I think that you need freaking help, okay? <laughs> I think you are a psychopath, whack job, and that lover, lover too. I get some really weird, wacky people that I feel sorry for. But actually. let's focus on the positive because 99.9% 99 .9 are hilarious, and, and I enjoy each and every one of your a comments. A lot of support, a lot of likes. Yes. A thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, please do so. I do want to thank Jesse Waters for giving me a shout out on his show on Tuesday night. Can I show this? Yes, of course. I'm so proud of you. All right, my buddy Rick Leventhal has got a new book out, Chasing Catastrophe. It's actually out right now, so you can buy it where books are sold or just get it off Amazon, wherever you need to do. He describes about 35 years of covering breaking news. He's a little older than I am. And he gives career advice while also sharing some personal stories, covering wars, terror attacks, hurricanes. It's a great read. It's graphic. It's gritty. It's gripping. Go check it out. That's so nice. Adam. That's so nice. Thank you, Jesse. That's so nice of Jesse Waters. I was going to do his show last week in New York, and then at the last minute they said, no, you're going to do Gutfeld instead. Yeah. And that was But he's a good great. friend of yours. He's he a is. nice guy. I think he's my age. I feel like he's in his late 30s. I could be wrong. But he's, he's pretty young. No, he's my age. He How is? old is Jesse Waters? Maybe 42. Oh, 44. 44. All right, yeah, he's, he's basically your age. Yeah. How about you were right? I was wrong once again. Um, yeah. Before we get, go any further, um, you wanted to give a shout out to Cosmetic Care. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I was supposed to show, the, yeah. Oh, so I can pause show, it. No, no, it. show it, show it. So, retinol smooth operator. Okay, so. I get so many of you guys asking what my favorite things are for my skincare. And I have to tell you, this retinol, you guys have to take the dead skin off in order for your skin to do really well. You have to have vitamin C and retinol. And this 10 times smooth operator is the best thing on the planet. It is. It says a retinol serum that helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles and helps promote even toned skin that is smoother and firmer. How'd you get that? 
<laughs> you you sent it to me. From, oh, from Cosmetica. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> but yeah, that that's what it does, and um, it it does wonders for my skin. Uh, what do you I love, do? You just put like a little drop on your finger. Or? I put it on it. I put it on at night. I put mm-hmm. and then I well, I wash my face with this stuff. Did you put? Did you? Yeah, 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 right here. So the I love the clean slate. This is the face wash. Clean slate is a dual action foaming facial cleanser that has glycolic acid and salicylic acid that helps combat acne, remove oil and dirt buildup, and controls oil production. Yes, because you guys all know that I'm a little greasy, so that really has helped me. Uh, so you but, wash with this first? Mm, I wash with that first, then I put my Glow Getter on, and then I put my vitamin C and retinol on. You do have beautiful skin, and oh, everyone thank says you. that. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> well, I work at it, and it's these products that help. You know, I, I, it's these things. You guys ask me. I'm not getting paid to say this at all. They're not paying me. I, I, this is like I've been using this for 15 years, and I notice a significant difference. Well, I mean, like your if skin I, is you know, flawless. like it you know. really is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, but I know you work at it. I know you spend. But a lot it's of- these. You have to have good products. So here's the phone number for Cosmeticare if you want to reach out to them, or it's uh, Cosmeticare.com. I'll put their web address up there as well. And their phone number. Yes, we have a lot of comments from you guys, and we love your comments. Yes. Do you want to read any of these? Yeah, I love seeing the engagement and views on the up and up. It's because Rick and Kelly go where MSM, mainstream, that mainstream media. media, refuses to go. There are They are perfect yin and yang, and it's a treat for viewers. I enjoy candid moments you don't edit out, <laughs> <laughs> like we just did this today. Makes it more personable and relatable, too. Thank you. Mindy, that was from Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. And then Mindy B says, can't believe Brandy forced herself on Caroline. That's just too much. Uh... Lee said, Kelly, I too take that thyroid pill. I marked the bottle so I know which one it is. You seemed a little off to me, but I thought maybe you were just tired from traveling. She was taking Xanax by mistake instead of her thyroid medication all last week, every morning, taking a Xanax. I, I only take, I, 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 yeah, You thank you for telling you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll do that next time. I, thank you. <laughs> it's a really good idea. It's a really good idea. Actually, it's like it's like so like in your face that you should know to do that. Right, right. That have, it's like stupid. We have so many sharp. But everybody knows. No. Uh, Lisa went on to say, "Glad you figured it out. You guys are great. I love the way Rick finishes your sentences and helps to translate. Yeah. Bravo sucks, as does those two pigs, Tamara and Brandy." <laughs> Thanks, that's Lee. What, they asked what he said, not me or Lee it, said. Not me. Is it Lee a boy or a girl? I don't know. It's L E E. I think that it's might a be a boy. A guy? Yeah. Cuz Lee is usually L E I G H, That's right? my sister's name. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read Kit Kat? It's interesting. If you have ADHD and take Adderall, it makes you calm and relax. But if you don't have ADHD, it will work like a stimulant and give you energy. I take it for chronic fatigue and lupus and fibromyalgia. Uh, and slightly perks me up to do a couple of basic everyday activities on a good day. Probably how a normal person feels on a day they didn't get a good sleep. Thought I would share, since some of you may not know, it can be used to treat these types of conditions. Check with your doctor, of course. <laughs> but I really wouldn't be able to function at all without it. Kit Kat. If said you didn't that. see my story yesterday. I love, I love how Kit Kat goes. Check with your doctor, of course. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank uh, you, Kit Kat. Excellent disclosure. <laughs> Yesterday I told, told a story about during a hurricane when I took an Adderall by mistake instead of an Ambien. Didn't that work. fibromyalgia is like no joke. I'm surprised you even knew what that was. I wouldn't even have known how to say that. Oh, really? You know, do you know what that is? Yeah, it's like an autoimmune disease. It's Oof. nar-nar. Like, I mean, horrible. Like, I've had a, a couple of the, my aunts that had it. It's... It's debilitating. We were talking about the New York Housewives legacy show maybe being killed because of contract negotiations going off the rails. Sandra Blondie wrote, I disagree a little. I want all New York ladies. The old ones are old and getting ugly, and they're not even that balling. None of them have kids or husbands. No, she isn't not even balling. She put the, the money emoji with the oh, tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> they, they need new ladies, definitely. Well, they do have a new show. I mean, they have supposedly have. Well, no, she goes, the ugly ones, she isn't even balling. None of them have kids or husbands. Or From what I remember, kid. they they need new ladies, definitely. Yeah. I kind of agree with Sandra on that, that's why I think they need to have the uh, legacy because mm-hmm. I loved 
for me, and I think most of my my fans think like I do, like minded. We like to watch the kids. We like to watch the teenagers. We like to see the interaction with the kids and the parents and the home life yeah. more than the fighting and the. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed that part of filming. You did the most. Um, and then one of you guys asked if we get paid per episode, and yes, we do. We get paid per episode, but they guarantee they used to guarantee you so a certain number. Yeah. So, like for instance, when the COVID thing hit. We got really screwed. I didn't make any money that year. And, and think, we self-filmed. We self-filmed. And we, I think you it, were guaranteed 12. Is that right? Yeah. And I think that's all we got. But we were working ourselves. Yeah. Like, I, I was shooting. Like we were, we were doing the confessionals stuff. in our garage yeah. by ourselves. Like it was like 10 times more of the work. They would send a crew guy over here in a mask and they like, distancing and he'd set it up he would be like like he were like like it's like the end of the earth like that was yeah, like yeah you know like that stephen king book or like they were the, you know where you're they're all in like white and like <laughs> yeah. like you're going to die and, and chem suits yeah and their chem suits i shot with both i had two cell phones at the time and i set them up on tripods remember and i did you and and uh shannon like I sit down and I shot it from two angles, got cutaways because I know how to do it because I was in TV for 35 yeah. years. And then I sent it all to the producers. They're like, this is great. This is great. Yeah. I didn't get paid for that. Shelly L says, if they find a great hometown feel show, it will last maybe two seasons. I'm an 80s teenager girl and watch them all. I don't even know what that's about. As far as Andy, he is all pissy because you were right about it all. Plus, you're making it. Adderall puts you to sleep, Kelly, because you actually have ADD or ADHD. People who don't have it, like Rick, said it keeps them up. Rick, I started listening to your book. So far, it's really interesting and good. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Patient Catastrophe, available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Thank you, Shelly. Yes, thank you very much. This is about Joe Lee. Remember? She oh, yeah. Only $800. It's weird. My mom was so about money and I'm so different. I think because I never understood or like how my mom and dad were about money. Question, I wish somebody could answer me this. Why is it that people smell and don't notice it? <laughs> I was at the grocery store. This guy was helping me and he smelled to the point I could smell him five feet away. How? Why? I have ADHD, which gives a person higher sense of smell, which oh, is totally true. I didn't know that. I do. But I have this happen with people over the years, and I just don't understand it. How in the hell, if they had a partner, it didn't bother them? And then you were I, a story about Florian. I died laughing when you wrote this because in San Francisco, I had a real, a really good friends. Florian, he's German, and my girlfriend, uh, the wife, is from Colorado, but they. He worked for Google, and she she was like in uh, like HR or something. They ended up moving to Munich, by the way. But he always smelled like bo. <laughs> and I have ADHD, and I always smell everything. I can smell everything, like it just to the point where it makes me gag. Yeah. And I remember wondering, how does she sleep with this guy, or how does she not tell him to put deodorant on, or? Like, I, I thought, I, mean, I was just laughing. Like, you're with this guy, and it's, and then Rick goes, well, what is that? And I go, I think it's a, a European thing. I don't know. It's like pheromones or something, they think. That could be. Uh, maybe he didn't wear deodorant, didn't believe in it, whatever. I'm surprised. But how do you not smell yourself? Well, that's what, I, I don't know. I take one whoop, and I'm like, woo! Yeah, but, I mean, is, aren't you glad that I smell naturally amazing all the time? Yeah, you have natural pheromones. I like it, yes. Yeah, I smell good. <laughs> Word. I smell good. Exactly. Mary H. said, good morning from freezing upstate New York. Rick's Adderall story had me in stitches. I had to rewind that, watch him do his bing several times. <laughs> A.R. Lansdowne, Kelly makes me laugh, and her laugh is so infectious. Oh. Rick for the win on the food. Rick needs to write a manual for husbands. Are you going to do signed copies of your book? Yes. We're, I think we're going to do one in Arizona. Scottsdale. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we'll call tomorrow. Scottsdale next week. And then we're hoping to go down to Florida and Texas and do some signings. Um, Susan Karma, you want to read that one? Uh, just curious. Do the housewives get paid per episode or seasons? I answer this. You're correct. Ebony and Leah did ruin Real Housewives of New York. If you do not agree with their opinions, they come after you. Bronwyn is a wackadoodle. 
Grace Finnerty, you guys are so good together. I can't miss a show. Thanks. You think like me. You betcha. You betcha. I'm Reva cracking Garrett. up. Reva Garrett. I'm cracking up, Kelly. She is so funny and unfiltered. Love your show. Thank you, Thanks. Reva. Thank you, Reva. And Julie Lieber wrote, love the old shows of family values, but I also watched Married with Children. Aw, see? You watched that too, right? Yes, I said it was my favorite. Yeah. In the news now. In the news. RHOC alum Kelly Dodd shades Brandy Glanville as a mom in scathing Instagram post amid RHUGT exit as fans react. You, you look so beautiful in that picture. I think I look so fat in that picture. You do? Yeah, humongous. Oh, I didn't think so at all. Ugh. She looks like a man, baby. She looks like a tranny. Oof. Uh, RHOC alum Kelly Dodd just called out Brandy Glanville's model behavior and parenting abilities in a passive-aggressive Instagram post. This occurred while the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star has been filming season four of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip in Marrakesh, Morocco. On Sunday, the Drunk Wives Matter Housewife. <laughs> this is from Reality Blurb, I think. Yes. That, the coin me. <laughs> You're the Drunk Wives Matter Housewife. Yes. Took to the social media platform to praise and highlight her daughter Jolie's travels throughout Europe. However, it was one of the hashtags that wound up catching her followers' attention. This is what gets me every time, and one of the reasons we put this in here. They will write an article about a hashtag you put in a, in a comment... Or a post on Instagram. Well, we did that to be funny, by the way. <laughs> yes. We did that to be funny. But you have to read these comments that these stupid idiots write. I mean, they're just like, there got to be low IQs in this. But go ahead, read that. The post was a slideshow of all of Joe Lee's adventures abroad. She just got home last night. Kelly captioned the collage, so proud of my daughter for experiencing other cultures and learning so much on her journey through Vienna and Prague and knowing how to behave. Glad I could help educate my daughter on how to conduct herself at home and abroad. And then uh, with the last hashtag, there was hashtags, um, model behavior, education, learning, intellect, and then Brandy Glanville. Hashtag, as a joke, I did it. As a joke. Wait, wait, you have to hear what these people wrote. Oh Many my God. Many fans were curious as to why the RHOC star mentioned Brandy in the first place. One fan commented, why is Brandy Glanville hashtagged in this? <laughs> Others were quick to defend Brandy and call out Kelly for her past obnoxious behavior. I'm sure watching you has definitely shown her what not to do or say and definitely how to act appropriately. I'd be embarrassed if you were my mom, blasted another user. <laughs> I'm I, not I, kissing other chicks and banging listen, other dudes and uh, doing drugs and uh, uh, I mean, if, I, and kissing, like putting, like sexual harassing people and using. Uh, and also, if you can't embarrass your kids, I mean, what's the fun in it? Oh, I, I mean, embarrass my kid, oh, but I don't embarrass not her. Like that. I don't embarrass her to where she she goes to school and her friends are making fun of her and saying your mom's a slut. Yeah, the, this no, I'm this not. came from the story about Brandy being asked to leave or kicked out of that real girls ultimate girls trip. Because but I she did was, hashtag Brandy Glanville because she said all these. She lied about me. Right. And so. That's why. That's why. You guys all know. But she, wait, we have to read what those other people wrote. She allegedly made inappropriate and unwanted physical advancements, including kissing toward Caroline Manzo on that girl's trip. And, and then everyone was like, well, if it was a man doing that, do you imagine the outrage? If a dude kept forcing herself, himself on a woman on a show and the cameras are rolling and they're like encouraging it and it's going on and on and on and all night long. Yeah. That would never happen. No. You wouldn't get away with it. Uh, anyway. Well, let's say Kelly's so vile. Wait, where, where did it go? Uh, 